listen, I had the pleasure of commentating on two maximum breaks, the two fastest ever, Ronnie, in just over six minutes, and then the 1997 commentated with John Virgo on that five minutes and 20 seconds. Can't see that record ever being beaten. Fantastic. And if the black goes in, who knows how many he'll score here, but it's a tricky little black. I'll tell you what, I mean, this, you never ever call anything. He's potted one Eight. black. Do you know what he'll have in his mind? Well, he's 12-7 he's <laughs> in front. We know what he'll have in his mind. He'll be trying to stay on the black here. I think if it wasn't the last frame of the match, I'd certainly agree with you, but it's to win the match as well. No. And these balls are perfect, aren't they? They are absolutely perfect. Slightly under it, but he can play this plain 16. ball and go around the back of the block. The red in the middle is not bad if he can cue it nicely. I'm not too sure whether he can cue it easily to stun on for the black. Well, we'll know exactly what his intentions are, the way he plays this shot. 17. He's hitting the ball so well, dear. when you're hitting it, when you're queuing at your very best, even in your own mind, you sometimes generate more spin than you mean to. Because he's queuing so well, he's getting so much movement off the cue ball, he's just sometimes running out of position because he's hitting it too good. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. This will be the fourth black coming up. Stephen Hendry has made eight maximum breaks. In competitive play, Ronnie O'Sullivan has made eight maximum breaks in competitive play. 32. He might be after another record. 33. The reason he's taking the red at the bottom of the bunch because it gives him 40. more target to go into the pack off the black. If he takes the ones on the left, that red would have been in the way for the perfect split. So 41. he might play a split here because he knows he's got one to the left and one to the right. Now this is key if this works out. Oh, he's stuck on them, but he's still got one to the middle. 48. Now, has he got a bit of angle to try and get back to the black off this one? Oh, there's not a lot of angle there. Well, he made it. He made it. Seven. There's a buzz going round the Crucible Theatre. They know what's happening here. Just a little bit too far. 64. We have to get the extension out here. And play a delicate little shot just to drop on the black, but shouldn't be a problem. Well, Mark is just wondering how many he's going to score here. 
That's the little shot he can play, even if he cannons are red, he's OK. 65. He's just flicked that red as you can see the crowd now, just hoping they're going to witness a bit of history. He just flicked the red to cover both those reds up into one pocket, so he's still got one more kiss to play at some stage. Needs to travel a little bit. Well, this is just a phenomenal play. Well, just one more red, it has to be said, to knock Mark Williams out of this year's 888.com World Championship. And that will send Mark to the qualifying school. We'll take him out of the top 16. 73. So this is the key one. Mark Williams now knows it's all over. I'm sure he'd now wish Ronnie a 147. OK. Nobody likes getting beat, but he wouldn't begrudge the way he's played. Has he gone too far? He hasn't. This is, this is nice now. 80. 81. When will he play the cannon? I don't know if one of the reds near the pink pots. It does. It does. 58. Eighty-nine. Oh, he wanted to go a little bit further, and he would have tried to have freed the one next to the pink. That's the key one now, but he hasn't got the angle here. I'm not so sure, Dan, whether it's pots, you know. It may not. I'd have to play the cannon. <laughs> if it pot, no, it looks tight. It looks tight from that angle. It doesn't go. There's another example. Of playing for two reds at once. That's what you've got to do in this situation. That is one of the best positional shots I've ever seen. He was almost straight. To generate the angle he did to get the cannon and to control it, well, he deserves one now. £157,000 available. 112. For the maximum. This could be the last worrying shot. It's perfect. This is perfect. 120. Shh. 122. Quietly. 125. Four colours to beat Stephen Hendry's record that he jointly holds with Stephen at the moment. 129. This will be his ninth maximum break. To quote one of the late greats, 134. Jack Carnham, good luck, son, because this has been flawless. This place will erupt if this black disappears. This has been unbelievable. Players stopped on the other table. He's done it! What an unbelievable break that was. Probably his best maximum he's ever got of the nine he's got. Mark Williams offers his hand in congratulations. Dennis, you have done a few of them. Handshakes from Robertson. That was up there with the very best. It just doesn't get any better than that. That's three of his maximum breaks I've done. The man is a total genius. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a difficult shot, not only the pot, but when you play it with a little bit of soft screw. 24. Well played, he's not perfectly...